I was thrilled to be asked and, you know, I, I put everything into it. But um, at first, oh, how can I do it? There's been so many fabulous Mrs. Johnsons that I, I want to be, you know, as good as them and, and put my own stamp on the part. We started off 12 years ago. We did two years on tour before we came into London. So it's, it, it's, it's been part of my life for 12 years now. And the best part of my life. It's been, it's been by far and away the, the best, the most consistently enjoyable, giving, loving uh, piece I've ever worked on. I, 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 I still love it. And on my opening night, um, for those people that haven't seen it, Mrs. Johnston has her back to the audience with the whole company on stage in the first scene. And as everybody was leaving the stage, I was thinking, oh, I want to be in a group, you know. And I could feel my heart pounding here, thinking, oh, the microphone's going to pick it up. And I really thought I was going to die of nerves. It's the nervous, most nervous I've ever been. But of course, I turned around and then that was it. Only for a time I must not learn to call you my familiar eyes. That face, those eyes make future plans that cannot be confirmed on borrowed time on easy terms living on the never never constant as the changing weather never sure I think it's a wonderful score, and I think Willie Russell, who we all know as a playwright from Educating Rita and Shirley Valentine, really belongs up there with the great musical writers, although he hardly ever does it. He's written two shows, John Paul, George Ringo, and this one. So we don't think of him as a musical writer, but actually he is. And when he does it, it's a play with music, and that's what separates it from the rest. Presumably, there's something universal at the center of it, which goes far beyond this kind of locale. I mean, the fact that it's translated into 35 different languages would suggest that it's not just the, for example, the Liverpool kind of quality of the language, which some people in England think it's, it's due to. I mean, when you see it in, for example, as I've seen it in Kyoto, I mean, all vestiges of Liverpool have disappeared from the, the language of it. And yet, you know, I sit there with, with, you know, Japanese people weeping and standing at the end of it. And so there must be a, some kind of primal level something that connects yeah i just love it I, I was the one who wrote 10 years ago this was unbeatable and unmissable and i've been saying it ever since it's extraordinary it's the english threatening opera if you said to me what is it about blood brothers that uh, that produces the kind of reaction we've we've had tonight and indeed we have every night no matter where it is no matter where we are in the world I think it's because it gets to people in a way that very, very few other musicals get to them. I really, really think it's a show that everybody should try and come and see. Um, a, at the moment, because I'm in it. And uh, seriously, it's a fabulous show. I can't tell you enough how much you will enjoy it. You won't know what to expect, but I know that you will go away and it will have, um, in a way, have been a night that you will never forget. It's a great show, Blood Brothers. Come and see it.
movie and just as wonderful as it was then. It just brought it home to me tonight what a, a really, really powerful show it is. Magnificently staged and even though I've seen it so many times, the story still rings you out. Such a brilliant piece. I mean, so, so great part, Mr. Johnson. It's a gift, really. and I thoroughly enjoyed it tonight. I wanted to be up there, though. <laughs> Congratulations all round to everybody.